Given a circle with a diameter of 120 parts, we can use elementary geometry to find several different chord lengths, notably the chord on the arc of 60 degrees, the chord on the arc of 72 degrees, the chord on the arc of 90 degrees, the chord on the arc of 120 degrees. But what about other chords? To find these other chords, we can use a theorem proven by Ptolemy and the Almagest, now known as Ptolemy's theorem. Let quadrilateral A, B, C, D be inscribed in a circle, then the rectangle on the diagonals A, C, and B, D is equal to the rectangle on A, B, C, D together with the rectangle A, D, B, C. We can read this in terms of the sums of products of lengths, so the product of the diagonals is equal to the sum of the products of the opposite sides, or AC times BD is equal to AB times CD plus AD times BC. Now, while this result is true in general, a useful special case, and the one Ptolemy focuses on, occurs when one side is the diameter. So let's try to find the chord of 30 degrees. The key to doing this is we want to express 30 degrees in terms of chords we already know. Of course, it helps to know what chords we already know. So remember, Ptolemy found the chord of 60, 72, 90, and 120 degrees. So we note that 30 degrees is 90 degrees minus 60 degrees. And so we begin with the chords of 90 degrees and 60 degrees. Now, we could have used 30 degrees equals 120 degrees minus 90 degrees, but the chord of 60 degrees is a whole number, so it's easier to work with. Let's draw some pictures. If we let AD be the diameter and AB the chord of 60, AC the chord of 90, then BC will be the chord of the difference 30 degrees. Since AB is the chord of 60 degrees, we know that length. AC is the chord of 90 degrees, so that's going to have a length 84, 51, 10. Now, since AC is the chord of 90 degrees, then CD will also be the chord of 90 degrees, and so that will also be 84, 51, 10. And then BD, since AB is the chord of 60, that means BD is going to be the chord of 120, so that'll be 103, 55, 23. And we can use Ptolemy's theorem. The product of the diagonals is equal to the sum of the products of the opposite sides. And so filling in those lengths. Now, strictly speaking, we should work with the sexagesimal products. However, in deference to the fact that most of us are not used to working with sexagesimals, we'll convert to decimals and find the length of BC. Although if we want to remain true to Ptolemy's actual work, we'll give a final answer in sexagesimal 31,330. For the chord of half the angle, Ptolemy provides a useful result. Let A, B, C, D be a quadrilateral inscribed in a semicircle with diameter A, D, where B, C is equal to C, D. If we drop C, F perpendicular to A, D, then D, F will be half the difference between A, D and A, B. To prove this, we'll let A, E equal A, B, and we'll join C, E. Then, well, you should be able to complete the rest of the proof on your own. The important things here are that AB and AE are equal, and that angle BAC and CAD subtend equal arcs. What this means is that we'll be able to get the length of this segment that's cut off by the perpendicular, and that's important because we also have the following, let arc BD be bisected at C, and we'll drop CF perpendicular to AD. Then the rectangle on AD and DF is equal to the square on CD. 
And this one is straightforward from similarity. We know that triangle ACD is actually similar to triangle CFD. And so there's proportionality between the sides where CD is a common side, and that gives us our rectangle on AD and DF equal the square on CD. And the previous proposition told us how to find DF, and AD is just going to be the diameter. So, for example, we can find the chord of 45 degrees. This is the chord of half of 90 degrees. So let's draw a picture. If we let AD be the diameter and CD a chord of 45 degrees, BC another chord of 45 degrees, then BD and AB are chords of 90 degrees. And we have the following, AD, that's the diameter, and AB is a chord of 90 degrees, and we already know that length. Now we've bisected the chord, so if we drop the perpendicular CF, then Ptolemy's second theorem tells us that DF is half the difference between AD and AB. And we know the length of AD and AB, so we can find DF. Seventeen thirty four twenty five. And now we know that the rectangle on AD and DF is the square on CD, and we know all the lengths except for CD. And again, working in decimals, we find a value for CD. And to remain faithful to Ptolemy's work, we'll convert that back into sexagesimals, 45, 55, 19.